Prince Harry discusses Tiara Gate from his perspective, prior to the wedding, Duke denies declaring, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets, as he describes the remarkable exchange with Queen's confidant Angela Kelly, who gave him a look that made me shudder. In his memoir, Prince Harry goes into great detail about his Tiara Gate argument with one of the Queen's closest advisors. In the book Spare, he disputes that during an argument over a tiara the Queen lent to Meghan for her wedding to Harry, he said angrily, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets, to Angela Kelly, his grandmother's dresser. He claims that the sisters of his mother had before proposed to Meghan wearing one of the Princess of Wales tiaras. Meghan spent hours and hours working with her wedding dress designer to get the scalloped edges of her veil matched the Spencer tiara, and she was moved by the result. However, Harry claims that the Queen reached out to the couple just before their May 2018 nuptials and offered Meghan access to her collection of tiaras. She even invited us to try them on in Buckingham Palace, according to Harry. Do come over, she said, in my memory. Harry describes what happened as an incredible morning. Harry had never been there before when they were led into his grandmother's personal dressing room, which was located adjacent to her bedroom. The Queen was standing next to a jeweler who was knowledgeable about the background of each stone in the royal collection. The docker's daughter from Liverpool, Ms. Kelly, who served as the monarch's personal dresser and confidant and was referred to the courtiers as AK-47 due to her assertive demeanor, was also present. According to Harry, the Queen requested that Meghan view five exquisite tiaras, two of which featured emeralds and aquamarines. The Queen then remarked, Tiaras suit you. To Meghan, the Queen suggested Meghan try the piece on with her hairdresser before the wedding day once she had chosen one. Harry, however, claims that the dresser was unresponsive when he later attempted to get in touch with Ms. Kelly to obtain the tiara for the practice session. When he eventually located her, Ms. Kelly informed him that removing the tiara from the palace in order to meet with Meghan's hairstylist can't be done since it would need to be guarded by an orderly and a police officer. In the end, Harry claims Ms. Kelly appeared out of thin air at Kensington Palace to force him to sign a release form before handing over the tiara. Harry admits to being frustrated. She gave me a glance that made me shudder, he writes. Her face conveyed a strong warning to me. This is not done yet. Instead, Markle wore Queen Mary's diamond bandeau, which features a ten-diamond brooch that Mary of Tech received as a bridal present from the County of Lincoln in 1893, as its focal point. One of the many challenges Meghan is alleged to have encountered when trying to put together her wedding attire was the tiara story. Harry alleges that spirited debates took place in the palace's back hallways on whether Meghan should or could wear a veil. According to him, it was inappropriate for some courtiers for a divorcee to wear a veil. Harry continues, the powers that be, unexpectedly, showed some flexibility, and they finally gave in. His account of the Tiara Gate incident demonstrates the scope of the Queen's dresser's power. Ms. Kelly started out as an assistant dresser in the royal household but quickly worked her way up and was given the keys to the Queen's precious jewellery collection. She served Queen Elizabeth II for nearly 30 years, and on September 19, she was featured at the monarch state funeral. According to reports, Ms. Kelly was granted royal permission to live out her days at her home, even after she passed away. The two were known to joke around with one another, and during a trip to Australia, the Queen once playfully told her dresser, you're sacked. She was rumoured to possess significant control over both junior household members and other senior personnel due to her strong influence, 